time, our friends from the north are saying bonjour this morning. Joining us now in the morning mix, Carolyn Pru, the Minister of Tourism for Quebec, Canada. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me. Bonjour. 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 Oh, here we go. Plaisir, 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 plaisir. plaisir. <laughs> All day long, the region's iconic Carnival de Quebec will take over the seaport district. Thank you so much for being here. Tell us a little bit about this carnival and what people can expect. Oh, 70th birthday, Bonham is uh, more uh, sharp than ever. We just extended a new weekend, so out of three weekends, uh, you can come to the uh, Quebec Carnival, which is located in the UNESCO, um, you know, World Heritage Site. Mm -hmm. So a taste of Europe, a taste of winter, uh, the most famous and the biggest winter carnival carnival in the world is hosted in Quebec City. Bonham Carnival will be there for the kids, but also great activities for for the uh, the oldest. Uh, you can slide outside, three outside slides. Wow. We have this wow. giant bear. Uh, you know, <laughs> Boston. Yes. Uh, yeah, the bear. Yes. The, the bear. You the have Bruin. a thing with the bear. Yes, the yeah. <laughs> was there last night, by the way? Yes. Watch the game. Oh, you saw the game. I, I did. I did. It was, I a, did. Great it was game. a great game. It was a great game. So you have this giant bear on which you you can uh, do some some ice climbing for mm. kids, for professional, for people that just want to start out. Foodies, of course, Quebec City is a place for the foodies. So basically, for the young, for the oldest, uh, there's a ton of activities uh, starting on the uh, 25th of January up until February 11th. Cut. Tell us what Americans should know about Quebec and, and what you have to offer, whether it just be for a visit, a vacation. What, what would you like to sort of share with us about it? We have this long, loving relationship between mm. the East Coast and Quebec. Uh, there's about 1.7 million U.S. travelers that cross to Quebec just experience winter. We're really pushing on winter and coming to Quebec City. Of course, the French flavor, uh, the food is exceptional. Quebec always ranks top. Um, and you have, of course, the St. Lawrence Seaway. Yeah. We have the first Club Med, four season Club Med in North America that open in Charlevoix. So basically, you ski into the St. Lawrence Seaway. Wow. Um, the strength of your dollar, so cheap to travel to Quebec. It's about one dollar forty-two, so it's a he likes that. He's very cheap. So yes, that's perfect. extremely cheap. I can drive perfect. there. Yes, I can drive there, and then it's cheap. And by the way, I've stayed in the Ice Castle just north of Montreal one time. Yeah, had wonderful. to sleep naked inside a sleeping bag. Did that it was so too. Cold. Oh, yeah, wow. it's wonderful, isn't yeah. it? Now you can uh, also sleep with the First Nation just outside Quebec City oh, in a teepee. Cool. You can sleep with wolves. Great experience wow. that I did. Not naked with you, them, though. No, yeah, no, no, yeah, but you, you have problem. a safety window and everything. But the kids <laughs> just love it. They put their hands into the windows, oh. and, you know, the the, uh, the wolves come to the window, and you have this feeling that you're really with the wolves. So great experience. I can see well. why you're the Minister of Tourism. You so make so me want to go. Yes. You're so passionate. Exactly. So, Carolyn Pruth, thank you so much for coming Merci. in. Thank you for having Merci. me. Merci à vous.